Good morning students. Now we are doing mathematics, HS second year maths and integration. And in the integration chapter, limit as a sum, integration as a limit of sum that we are doing. So for that formula what you are using, that is in any integration, if it is formula, is, it is like that. It is of course a definite integral, a to b fx dx. They say it is limit h tends to 0 h inside bracket f a f a plus h then f a plus twice h like that if we continue up to f a plus n minus 1 h. This is the def value of this definite integral and of course n h this is equal to b minus a as h tends to 0 and tends to infinity. This is our actual formula. We we'll use that formula. So last day we have done some uh, questions. Now today we will do question number 4 of this exercise uh, 7.8. So it is exercise 7.8 and we are going to do question number 4. Up to 3 we have done integration. 1 to 4 x square minus x dx so this is our question question instead of fx here it is given x square minus x and of course it will be what that we will take this instead of fx x square minus x we will take if we take this one as fx dx already a is our 1 b is our 4 then if we want to write in this form it will be limit h tends to 0 h f a fx is if we take x square minus x already said then our a is 1 f 1 will be 1 square minus 1 for f 1 plus h 1 plus h whole thing square minus 1 plus h in this way we will continue so of course we will write here within this one 1 square minus 1 this is our first term that is f a then next term f a plus h will be 1 plus h whole thing square minus minus 1 plus h so you have to concentrate what they we are doing and then if we take 1 plus twice h of course it is 1 plus twice h whole thing square minus 1 plus twice h in this way and final term it will be 1 plus n minus 1 a whole thing square uh, minus 1 plus n minus 1 h this is our the value of this one we have done we have written so you have to write this thing and you have to concentrate on this one that how we have written and why it is so limit h tends to 0 here you see that if we want to okay write 1 square minus 1 there 1 plus 2 into h plus h square minus 1 plus h this is our second term then third term 1 plus 2 into 2 into h better you write twice h plus 2 square h square as it is this one I have written minus 1 plus twice h this is our third term. In this way, if we continue, then our nth term will be 
one square plus twice n h plus n square h square minus one plus here it is n minus one so we cannot write this one it is n minus one better h and it is n minus one square h square plus n minus one h better we will write in this form and this is uh, we will write here in this form this is our last term okay whole thing inside third bracket now it is time to cancel limit h tends to 0 h 1 square minus 1 cancel it this you cancel every term you will find this one will be cancelled with that one then what we left with this one you see in this twice h they are 2 into twice h then 2 into thrice h so if we take twice h common from these two terms this term middle term of this one because first term of this one twice h if it is common then we will get what twice h if it is common 1 twice h common then it is 2 then 3 and up to what n minus 1 this is the thing then h square a square here 2 square h square 3 square h square so if we take a square common then it is 1 square yes we can write 1 is 1 square then 2 square then 3 square then n minus 1 whole thing square and here minus h minus twice h minus thrice h in this way n minus 1 so if we take minus h common then it is 1 2 3 dot 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 n minus 1 so this is the clear picture of this one so we can deduct also from this to that if we deduct then only we will left with this one so we can uh, subtract this from this this one so it is this minus this is only h so limit h tends to 0 h here only h will left and value of this one is n minus 1 into n by 2 here plus h square formula is n n plus 1 then twice n plus 1 so automatically it will be twice n minus 1 because in place of n here it is n minus 1 whole thing divided by 6 okay now we are at that position we can able to take some common from this denominator Here our n minus h is remember it is n h is uh, 4 minus 1. So we will write it is our n h is, is 5 minus 1, that is 4 writing. So far as I have seen, no sorry, it is 4 only. V is they have given 4, so it is 3. So we will make this one. So now if we take this h with n and that h with this one what we, we will get limit h tends to 0 then n h n h minus h whole thing divided by 2 this h that h is what h cube so we can write 1 h with this one n h minus h then n h then twice n h minus h whole thing divided by 6. Now all n h will replace by 3. 
So of course if it will be so at a time I will do h also will put and this one. So it is 3 3 minus 0 if you go the limit then 3 minus 0 3 2 into 3 minus 0 by 6. This 6 and 2 into 3 and so ultimately we get 9 by 2 and here 3 3 is 9. So ultimately we get 9 to 18. 18 plus 9 is 27 by 2 square meter as per this one. So we get this one is 18 by uh, so, so 27 by 2 is your our answer. So this is our question number questions answer so now we'll do next question question number five question number five is here integration minus one to one e to the power x dx so again with this formula if we try to do then here fx is e to the power x so it will be limit h tends to 0 h and our value will be s a is here minus 1 our mh will be here b minus 1 that is 1 minus minus 1 that is 2 so and a is here minus 1 so e to the power f minus 1 will be this then a plus h that is e to the power minus 1 plus h then e to the power minus 1 plus twice h plus dot 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 and finally it will be minus 1 plus n minus 1 into h this one now, if we take e to the power minus 1 common from all these things, actually, if we take e to the power minus 1 common from this, here to 1, e to the power minus 1 plus h means it is e to the power minus 1 into e to the power h. So, from that, if we take e to the power minus 1, e to the power h will be there. Similarly, if we take from here e to the power twice h and finally we will get e to the power n minus 1 h this one. Now see, this is what in GP series and here first term is 1, common ratio is e to the power h. So in GP series what we have done in class 10 that sum s is a r to the power n minus 1 by r minus 1 if r is greater than 1 here so it is greater than 1 so s a is here 1 first term and h is r our r is a to e to the power h so e to the power h to the power n means n h minus 1 and denominator it will be e to the power h minus 1 because r is here this one so we put this one so limit h tends to 0 h e to the power minus 1 means 1 by e this sum is e to the power n h minus 1 by e to the power h minus 1 now if we if we can able to write here by h here by h not only this, uh, no, then we can, what we can get, limit h tends to 0, h by e, I will tell, divided by this one h, this and that h will cancel, this it will be, in numerator it will be, here e to the power this one is nh is 2, so e to the power 2 minus 1, and denominator it becomes e to the power h minus 1 by h. 
we left with this one. Now another formula is there. Limit e to the power h minus 1 by h. If h tends to 0, then its value is 1. So this value, if we limit this goes there, then it is 1. So ultimately, we left with e square minus 1 by e. So student, this is our answer. So now we go for next question. So last question of this exercise, now we are going to do. Of course, critical, but you have to concentrate on this one. One more question if it comes. If one question comes, its marks is uh, 4 or more than 4, you will get. So of course, you should be careful in doing this one. Definitely don't lose. And you will do 0 to 4 x plus e to the power twice x dx. Here fx is given as x plus e to the power twice x. This is our x. nh will be what here? nh is b minus a 4 minus 0. So it is 4. So if we write according to the formula of this one it will be limit h tends to 0 h f 0 that is x is here you have to put 0 plus e to the power 2 into 0 is this then if we put a plus h 0 plus h that is if we put f h is what h plus e to the power as we have said 0 plus h, so it will be here h, so e to the power twice h. Then a plus twice h, 0 plus twice h, so it will be twice h e to the power 2 into twice h. Finally, it is n minus 1 h. And then it is e to the power 2 into n minus 1 h. This is our uh, total according to that formula. Now, what we are getting? Limit h tends to 0 h. Here you see that h twice h, thrice h, then then this also. If we take h common, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 n minus 1. From this term twice h, then twice h, then what we will get? It is, if we concentrate, then it will be 2 into twice h meaning is what? It is uh, total term, it will be e to the power 2 into twice h means twice h twice h e to the power twice h into e to the power twice h e to the power thrice h 2 into thrice h means e to the power twice h plus 4 h so e to the power twice h into e to the power 4 h so that is the thing that we will get uh, increasing power of h that is every e to the power h square q in this way it will increase uh, so better i will write it once time so it will be e to the power twice h then e to the power twice h square then 2 into uh, that is twice h is thrice h it will be 2 into thrice h so it will be e to the power twice h whole thing cube in this way last one it will be e to the power twice h to the power n minus 1 so this is it, our term so if we concentrate of course it is what an ap and if we add here so non equal you keep it like that so limit h tends to 0 h here this value is n minus
minus 1 into n divided by 2. It is n into n plus 1 by 2 formula, so of course it will be this one. This is a GP series of n term it is. So here first term is e to the power twice h. Then e to the power twice h is common ratio whole thing to the power here n term minus 1 divided by e to the power twice h is common ratio minus 1. So that we get. Now this h if we take together a square one value will be n h another is n h minus h by 2. Here h is in the numerator. If we take in the denominator, it will be e to the power twice h n power n means e to the power 2n h minus 1. This h we will take in the denominator. Now if we make it here 2, then here numerator we have to give 2, that is we will give here 2 only to cancel this one. So that much up to this is we have done. Then it will be nh is our 4 so limit h tends to 0 and 4 4 minus h by 2 e to the power twice h here e to the power 8 because 4 to the 8 minus 1 this is our 2 e to the power twice h minus 1 by twice h. So that much we cut. Now if we withdraw the limit, all h will be removed by right? that is 0. So 2 into 4 minus 0. Here if we put it will be 1. So 1 by 2 e to the power 8 minus 1. This limit if goes here then it is 1 only. So what we get? 4 to the 8 e to the power 8 by 2. So that we got as a uh, value but here e to the power 8 minus 1 so it will be minus 1 is there. After this one it will be simplification 15 plus e to the power 8 by 2. So student, we have completed our this exercise totally. So any doubt you can ask and give your attendance in your comment box. That much for today.